Hello people, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are going to create the number guessing game in Java. So it's a basically Java swing library. Here we are going to create a single game with the help of GUI. So first we need to create a project with the name of number guessing game. So all you guys who are new in this channel, you are request to subscribe the channel and go and follow us on Instagram handle. This is our website. You can just find the source code over here. So the website link is in the description. You can get the code uh, from the description of this video. So let's just get started. So we have created our first project with the name of a number guessing game. Here we have to create a Java JFrame form. For that purpose, you need to click over the source. Uh, inside the source, you will find the number guessing game package. And on clicking the right button, you can just find out the Java frame. All right, so we just have uh, name it as ngg.java and here we have to just drag the component that will be used in our JFrame. So some of the J labels, one text field and one button will be enough to create this game. First of all, we need to just import the picture from external source. We have just stored the picture in the download folder and this is the picture that we have imported in our package. Alright, so let's just resize the JFrame over here and just modify the name added the text right over here as enter the number between 1 and 100 let me just make you understand that the game just uh, base over the one condition that the number should be in between 1 and 100 whenever we just put the number between 1 and 100 the number will be validate from the condition that we have put inside the code and if the number match it will show you congratulations the number of guessing game is correct right so let's just change the variable name as result added the text field and the button uh, text over here just resize the jframe form again all right we are good to go now so let's go into the button and write the backend code inside the method so first of all we just need to create a variable with the name of user that should be a string and here we have to put the front end variable that is user number dot get text in order to save that text coming from the front end to store inside the variable and you need to convert this string uh, user variable into integer so for that purpose you need to create a variable with the name of un and here the first thing is to convert the string into integer you have to write integer dot pass and inside the parameter you just have to pass the string variable and now this time we have to create the first condition that is actually if user name is greater than 0 or equivalent to 0 and user is lesser than 100 so your game is ready to go all right now what we have to do over here is to just work inside the j label right so first we have to create a comp number that is our variable and here is the random math dot random syntax to create a random number in between 100 and 1 so let's just create a variable initialize the variable on the top of this of this class inside this method we have to create a variable of str2 and here we have to write integer dot to string in order to convert that integer variable into string and just set text will help you to show on the jframe form now inside the first condition you have to pass here as result dot set text and write the text what you need to show on the screen it should be invalid guess right the second condition shows if the user number is equivalent to computer number that means the guess is correct the guess you have made will be correct so here we have to write your guess is correct all right now we need to create another condition with the help of else if just copy and paste from the above line just change the condition if the username is greater than computer number that means your guess is too high and if it is lesser than the computer number that means the guess is too low now the last condition is else if all the condition above doesn't need so that means your guess is incorrect now it is giving me an error let me show you how can you just remove this error 
you just have to go onto the number guessing package and just click that option it will just clean the jar file and your program will run again so the number is 15 as i have just put the 14 it shows the error and your guess is correct now and this is how easily this program works so people if you like this program so hit the like button and subscribe the channel the source code of this program is inside the description the website link is already already there you can just check out our website you will get the source code from that website so don't forget to subscribe the channel and tuition tonight meet you in our next lecture up till then take care stay tuned bye bye